what do we have here? Looks to me like it's another spooky spot. Today's spooky spot, we're going to be looking at the seven seasons of the Tales from the Crypt. Tales from the Crypt movie, or TV series is what I really should have said. Um, Tales from the Crypt, great series. I actually used to remember coming home, I think for, I think when I was growing up, Tales from the Crypt was on Midnight's Midnight, I think, on Fridays. That sounds right. Midnight on Fridays, I think, yeah. And uh, used to love watching it. Now, granted, when it was on TV, it was kind of edited out. I mean, it's, it wasn't as gory as, as the, uh, you know, the real transfers or the original series was intended. Um, if you were growing up in the States or you were lucky enough to get HBO, I believe HBO was the other station that ran this, um, you probably would get Tales from the Crypt in its full, gory, nudity-filled uh, glory. Um, but uh, needless to say, despite some of the stuff that was edited out uh, when I watched it, Tales from the Crypt is still a great series. Um, not necessarily something that is only for horror movie fans. I would say Tales from the Crypt is really a great, um, kind of an updated version of The Twilight Zone or... Um, was the other the outer the outer reaches the outer reaches um, the idea is that each episode is an individual story and it involves something and then near the end there's usually like a twist to it where what you thought was one thing it turned out to be something else um, now granted tales from the crypt took that element and put in more gore uh, like I said there was nudity in it as well um, but gr what a great series I mean there's a lot of standout episodes at least for me and they're only really standouts because um, I remember watching them when they were originally on TV I mean certainly the seasons themselves are great episodes as a whole um, but some of the episodes that I remember when I was watching them on TV uh, like for example there is an episode with John Lovitz is it John Lovitz and he wants to be a stage actor and there is auditions for a role in Hamlet and John Lovitz believes that Hamlet, the role of Hamlet is, or they're, coin, they're saying that the, the audition is for the main role. So John Lovitz believes the main role is for Hamlet. And when he believes that another actor has gotten the role of Hamlet, this is a spoiler, if you haven't seen this episode, um, just using this as an example to give you an idea of kind of episodes these were. Uh, but when John Lovitz believed that this other actor got the main role, he kills this actor so that he would be the next the next guy in line for the role. What it turned out was that the auditions were being held at a, a sanitarium, like a criminally insane asylum, and the inmates were actually holding tryouts. And the actor that John Lovitz killed was actually not going to be Hamlet, but he was going to be the Skull. And so therefore John Lovitz at the end realized, oh crap, uh, the main role they were looking for was the skull, not Hamlet. So, again, it's all these little twists. Uh, th there's tons of cameos. Um, back in the day, a lot of actors and actresses uh, wanted to be on this series. You've got cameos. There was an episode written by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, I mean, I can't even list all the actors that were in the series because there are, like I said, seven seasons. And uh, it's just a great, great show. And then the Crypt Keeper would always open each episode and end each episode with, uh, hit, you know, the first, at the beginning he'd talk about, you know, uh, something relative to the episode. And then at the end he would talk about, you know, the after aftermath of that episode. Um, but a great series. Um, it's nice finally that they've come out on DVD. There is seven DVDs, I believe, in total. I don't think there was an eighth season. I think there was only seven. Um, but each season... It's jam-packed full of uh, episodes. Oh, yeah, I remember this episode as well with uh, Leah Thompson. Is it Leah Thompson? Yeah. 
Um, but a lot of a lot of good episodes. Um, I don't even. I think most people have watched this series, so I really don't have to explain too much more. Um, but I would say if if you're a new person to Tales from the Crypt and you've never watched this series, um, you you should be checking this out. Um, but all seven seasons, a little harder to come by. For some reason, Tales from the Crypt, you can't really find them in stores. I don't really know why, but uh, I ended up getting most of these, I think, on Amazon. And that's probably the way you're going to have to get them now, because uh, finding them in stores, again, is probably going to be next to impossible. If you do find them in stores, they probably will set you back quite a bit. Uh, but one thing I do like about these seasons is that they're all consistent with one another. Aside from really just changing the top banner color, uh, they all kind of stay true to themselves and they all look the same. There's nothing worse than when you collect a season. Uh, Simpsons is bad for this, but there's nothing worse than when you start collecting seasons of episodes and then as the box sets progress, they start changing the packaging. And then the packaging all starts looking different from one another. The one good thing about Tales from the Crypt is that they all look the same. You've got this number on the season of, at the top here. And on the back, you know, they all kind of look consistent with one another. Um, as for features, each one obviously has different features. But they all pretty much run around the same thing. Uh, creature effects. Um, there's some documentaries. Um... Commentaries is pretty consistent on most of these. But yeah, there you go. Um, so this Halloween, if you're looking for something to get into and you haven't gotten into these yet, I would definitely suggest pick up Tales from the Crypt, the season sets, all seven of them. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed this spooky spot. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was the... Tales from the Crypt Season Set DVDs. And with that, I'll see you next time. Woo!